for a while so this is the highlights of like this entry a little trip so first day is the Vatican and from the Hesse airport we can come to Rome there is a two option one is bus and a second is train so it's good you take a so shuttle from the airport I come to the Rome Germany yeah so this is a top view of the Vatican Beliska so first day 30 of the, the Vatican Beliska it is free of cost and you could come to see the the Beliska but it will be the long way but it will be good enough to be there you can see the very great architecture of that so the Alpenestri, the Beliska was designed by a several renowned architects including the Donato, Michelangelo and Micro and you know the particularly famous and the best is the example of the Renaissance architecture at his Gantest. So St. Peter Bliska is known for its stunning artwork including the famous sculpture Pieta by Michelangelo and you can see that the beauty of that architecture and the grand arena with the brandy gem. The Bellic Stand is a central symbol of the Catholic Church located at the heart of the Vatican City. So, here are the, some fun and interesting facts about the St. Peter Basilica. First one is that it is the largest church in the world. St. Peter's Pinsky is the largest Christian church in the world covering an area about 5.7 acres. You can see their pillars, their statues, their whole trade. It's its jaw dropping architecture is this and the dome of the Beliske is the iconic dome designed by the Michelangelo they the one of the largest in the world standing 136 meter means 448 tall it is considered as a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture of a symbol of a Catholic church and the St. Peter's tomb the Beliske is built to be built of the tomb over St. Peter. One of the judges apostrophized the first Pope pilgrim traveled from the world to the sacred site located at the church main altar. Okay, the, you can see that you can see the structure of the inside and the tomb is great one. This dome is designed by my Plenjigo. You can see the sunlight goes through the Michael Dome. It invests not just the Belisica but the soul reminding us the divine within the beyond. Yeah, that is really one that texture. Wow, that's the great thing. I've become fan of this dome. This is a lovely, lovely dome. So this Beliska stand as a breeze between the earth and heaven, where every step echoes the footsteps of the saints, pilgrims and the seekers. So you can see the people are doing some prayers here and the lovely dome, that picture, all are perfect. See the Virgin Mary here also, people are taking the, the shoot of while they are doing the prayers. With the Pope there. Yes.
every marble pillar, every painted canvas, ever whisper the prayer within these walls, sign of devotion, history, and the divine. Their space is very good, it can hold up to 60,000 people. So every corner is filled with stunning art in their details. The grand canopy above the altar is so great in see there.